these Eyewitness News exclusives. A 36-year-old man beaten, bloodied, and shaken up after he was attacked on his way to work this morning in Queens. But he and his father tonight saying they are grateful this wasn't much worse. So what sparked the violence? Eyewitness News reporter Josh Eininger with the details from Flushing. It was busy at the end of the line in Flushing this morning when in a crowded subway stop, a garden variety commute met unvarnished cruelty. I don't feel too much pain, but it hurts, you know, the situation I was in. As a 36-year-old man living with autism, Caesar Yates is proudly independent. But this morning, when he took the seven train to his job at a Queen's supermarket, he became the victim of a violent, seemingly random attack. Russell Yates is his dad. Somebody said, no, oh, you pushed my girl. And my son said, no, I didn't, I didn't push anybody. And he got sucker punched, as he says. Of course, I tried to be calm as a parent and everything, but I was furious and I was holding back the tears. Caesar made his way to his job where his boss called his father who called 911. Tonight, doctors gave him three stitches and told him how lucky he is. His injuries aren't worse. And I count our blessings, you know, thank God, you know, He's a statistic, but not a final statistic. Well, by the grace of God, and, you know, people care about me like my parents. And yeah, so I'm very happy to still be here. There are surveillance cameras all over this Main Street Flushing train station, and it's really inconceivable this assault wasn't somehow caught on video. The police investigation getting underway tonight. In Flushing, Queens, Josh Eineker, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.